What is going on friends? Pat Chadwick here and in this video I'll be showing you how to get better at pull-ups. But before I begin, be sure to hit the like and the subscribe button that is located under this video to be notified for future workout tutorials. Also, you'll definitely find this video useful. All right, so I'll show you two exercises along with two drills so that you can practice to get better at pull-ups. Now the first exercise is called the Australian pull-ups, okay? This exercise is a regression of the pull-up because you place your feet on the floor and it will take load away from your upper body. So you want to find a low bar, place your body under it, lock your arms out, engage your glutes, engage your core, and then we'll pull up as high as you can until our chest nearly touches the bar. All right, so the second exercise is called negative pull-ups. This exercise will utilize all the muscle groups that is required for the pull-up and it will increase time and attention on your muscle because you will use the eccentric phase, which means lowering down slowly to increase time and attention on your muscles. Okay, so you begin, grip the bar tightly, our back shoulders width apart, you can jump up so that your chin is above the bar and we're gonna gradually lower down. This is also known as the eccentric, okay? So we're gonna lower down typically at a count of three to five seconds. And we'll just do this for reps. One, two, three, four, five. Lock your arms out fully to ensure full range of motion. So that was the demonstration and explanation of the two exercises to improve your pull-ups. I'll now show you two drills, okay? So the first one is called superset. Now a superset is when you do two exercises back to back with no rest, okay? So what we'll do is we'll do Australian pull-ups for let's say three reps. One, two, three. And then we'll do negative pull-ups straight away. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So that's an example of superset. Now you can do it the other way around. So you can start off with negative pull-ups and then you do Australian pull-ups. All right, so the second drill is called isometrics, okay? So you'll be utilizing isometric holds. And for those of you who don't know what an isometric hold is, it is when you're causing a muscular contraction. So you're engaging your muscles without actually lengthening them or creating any joint movement, okay? So what we'll do is we'll do Australian pull-ups followed by isometric holds, okay? So I'll do three reps. One, two, three, and I'm gonna do an isometric hold. So I'm engaging my muscles still, but without actually lengthening them. And we're just gonna hold this for five, four, three, two, one. And the benefit of doing this is that there'll be more time and attention on your muscles, which will stimulate them to develop to become stronger and bigger. So that was it guys. In this video, I've showed you how to improve your pull-up counts, showing you two different exercises. So the Australian pull-ups and the negative pull-ups. And I've also showed you two different drills, which is supersets and isometric holds. Now, if you find this video useful, please give it a thumbs up, as well as considering pressing the subscribe button that is located under this video so that you can be notified for future workout tutorials. See you later.